Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam. I'm going to do a general love reading for all horoscope signs. And I am starting first with my Moonbeam Magic Oracle Card Deck. I am the artist of the 46 cards as well as the author of the guidebook. Now, if you felt called to click on the video, I believe there will be a message or two that is meant for you. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. And so our first card is Synchronicity. It is the number 40 in my deck. Synchronicity is seeing a pattern of events that occur and lead you to other meaningful places or events. Synchronistic events are signs and guideposts to let you know that you are on the right path. Trust that all is well and the synchronicity is happening for your highest good. This is telling you to look for the signs when it comes to love, whether it, you have someone in your life now or whether you were hoping to attract the right someone to you. So let me pick a card or two here from a tarot deck. And we'll get a little bit more guidance and then I will pull out some Lenormand cards and read with those. Okay. Well, we got the Fool, meaning there is a brand new journey at hand. There is a new leap of faith to be had on your path. This is exciting. This is the beginning of the new. This is being sort of childlike and playful and knowing that if you stay in that mindset of possibility, adventure, innocence, that it will find you as you go along on your path. It's, it's a good, playful energy and knowing that there are so many possibilities out there and paying attention to the synchronistic signs along the way. That is a great card. Great, great. Then we got the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups to me is about an even exchange. And if this is not the type of thing that you have in your relationship now, this is the goal that you give and, ex you know, you give and receive and you exchange equally. And it's not more on one person than the other. That's the ideal. That is the goal for sure. Now I'm going to pick some Lenormand cards. I've got these right here. Just pick a few to see what else is going to be happening in the future. This one. Okay, I've got them upside down. I'm not going to read it that way. Ooh. Okay, I like this. This is good. So the first card we have is the birds. The birds are all about communication and the importance of it making sure that you are on the same page, so to speak. They're on two different branches here, which is okay, but make sure that you meet in the middle with your partner or the partner that's on the way. This is also a card that reminds you to be present when you are with a partner. Don't be checking your phone all the time. <laughs> I know it's hard, but we need to get into the habit of being very, very present in the now moments that we have together. Not only that, just appreci appreciating the nature and the beauty around you. It's a good reminder. So, the ring is about a commitment. It is a symbol of a promise. It does not necessarily mean there will be an engagement and a wedding to follow, however, it is going to the next level in this relationship. That's an exciting thing to have come out in a love reading. That's exactly what you want. Um, the number 25, if that means something to you, that may be significant. There may be a significant um, advancement in your relationship on the 25th day of the month. Um, that is beautiful. I love that. Then we get the child card. The child is very similar to this energy of the fool, being playful, noticing the little things, going to pick wildflowers in the, in the field, in the meadow, being playful and knowing that 
the possibilities are endless and when you are more playful things flow more easily it's not being immature it's being childlike and having fun have fun with it try not to take it so seriously i know that's easier said than done but it's also the beginning of something brand new and this the full card the fool is literally um, in the traditional deck about to step off of a cliff. And that's okay. That's, uh, that's taking the chance, really. Taking the chance with something new. I'm going to pick a card for the birds. Okay, it's this one. And we get the letter. So the letter, of course, is also about communication. This is about a message that's coming in. There's something that's new. Um, I like the fact that this is an old fashioned letter. Uh, this may mean that it's a little bit slower coming in, but there's definitely something, something new um, with a possibility. Maybe even a love letter. Wouldn't that be exciting? Old fashioned love letter. Let's pick a card for the ring. Woo. All right. So we got the, the mountain. The mountain card is about an obstacle or a delay. This is a bit of a setback, but it's not going to completely um, keep you from getting that ring. If this is, if you're hoping that your relationship ascends to the next level, it's still going to take a little bit longer. You, this is a reminder to be patient. All good things come to those who wait, right? <laughs> And it's also telling you, enjoy the journey, enjoy the beauty of nature along the way. It's being in the now moment and appreciating it for whatever it brings. Let's pick a card for the child. I think it's this one. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so we had the two birds here. We have the ring, and now we have the heart. These two swans are an equal pair. They are a matched pair. It's the even exchange like the Six of Cups. And in this Six of Cups card, there's this transformational energy of those butterflies. That is absolutely lovely. This is sharing a heart with another they are sharing. There's a little ring there in between their beaks. This is beautiful. This is a peaceful energy. They are on calm waters. How exciting for the lovebirds out there. Let me pick one more card here. One or two from another Lenormand deck. I want to pick another card to see what else the heart shows up. Whoa. If I can shuffle, let's see. Woo! And it came flying out of the deck. The Clover is the best good luck card there is in the Lenormand deck. So there is something very, very lucky about either a connection you have now or the one that you will have on the other side of that mountain. That is good, good luck. That is exciting. I am happy for you. If this resonates, ooh, you've got some great things coming. So this is the first love card that flipped over. It says to forgive and learn as you release and heal the past. You experience more, experience more love in your present moments. It's being present like the two birds here in that card. Um, it's also... Once you forgive about something maybe from the past, it'll help you get around that mountain. It's I, it's making me think about if you have not dealt with an issue and you've been just setting it aside and kind of shoving it under the rug, um, that's going to come out eventually and that may be what has delayed the relationship from progressing to the level that you may want. Um, let's pick another card for love. Okay, we got two more. And the first one is honeymoon. <laughs> Beautiful. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This doesn't necessarily mean it's an actual honeymoon, 
but this is the feeling that you would have when you're celebrating this beautiful love between you. And then we got, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I like that. Being guided by the steps, noticing the synchronicity along the way on the journey. That's fantastic. And being guided for the steps. He's going to dance his steps. Be like the fool. Be playful. Enjoy the journey. Have fun with it. Try to take things a little bit less seriously if you can and remember to you know forgive and learn from the past journey to the future with um with happy expectations really they're on a boat they're going on the journey just know that it is worth the effort know that the give and take try to make it as equal as possible I think this is a really, really positive reading. I hope that it spoke to you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I love to end the readings by saying I wish you peace. I wish you love. I wish you blessings. Be well.